Greetings dear listeners, I am Vinita Gurk, HOD Computer Science, SRDAV Public School, Delhi. We all very well know about the Digital India campaign launched by the Government of India. Well, it has not only led to the improvement in the online framework by improving the internet connectivity and providing easy online government services to the citizens of India, but it has also improved the technological aspect of India by empowering internet web in the country. If we look at the data collected in January 2017, we find that out of the total population of 1,335 million people of India, 462 million people were internet users and 191 million people were active social media users. Between 2017 and 2022, the number of smartphone users in India is expected to grow over 60%. Trust me, it is the highest estimated growth rate posted by any country in the world. But this growth of India's digital imprint has also exposed new avenues for virulent cyber threats across the nation and the need to address cyber threats has become more critical than ever. Cyber security is no longer a necessity. It's a must. You won't believe it, but the truth is, India is ranked third worldwide next to US and China in terms of cyber crime incidents. Our country logs 40 to 50 percent annual increase in cyber crime cases in past two years and expected to increase by 100 percent if necessary steps are not taken in timely manner. One cyber attack is happening in India in every 10 minutes. 82 percent of Indian population is vulnerable to physical disasters but 100 percent to cyber disaster because People lack basic cyber awareness. It's terrible. Does that mean we should stop using internet? No, it doesn't mean that. Rather, educating ourselves and others is by far the most effective defense against all phases of cyber crime. Believe me, it does work. So let's unite and stand against cyber threats to protect our technology infrastructure. For this, we need to secure our social media footprints, secure our digital financial transactions, and secure our digital devices. Before mo moving further, let's check our own cyber health. For this, fill this basic questionnaire form whose link is given here to know your own vulnerability level. The link to the questionnaire is also given in the description box. So that's all what I got for today. In my next video, I'll discuss how we can secure our digital footprints. I appreciate your attention. Connect with care. Thank you.